as I recall, it was pretty easy to use. Um, and I think the first course I ever used it for was Physics 106, which is mechanics. Um, and they used it for homework exercises, essentially. It's like to answer the questions in the back of the book instead of doing it on paper. You did it interactively with the, uh, uh, with the system. What was really nice about that is they had uh, animations built in that demonstrate a lot of the concept. So uh, I think it actually enhanced the experience quite a bit. And actually, I liked interacting with the computer a lot better than sitting down with a piece of paper and grinding through stuff. Although I liked physics anyway. I liked it, but I'm an introvert. So um, interacting with computers, it's, I, I think it was part of... So computers were not nearly not even close to as ubiquitous as they are today. Uh, the PC came out while I was in school. Um, Apples and Commodores, I can't remember when the Commodore came out exactly, but it was like in my last couple of semesters or something like that, and the Apple had come out sooner, and I had no opportunity to interact with computers at all. So then coming to that, you're just like, well, there's a lot of mystery behind it. Uh, you don't know what's going on, but then when I took my first computer science class, which was required of math majors, I changed my major because it's like, this is very cool. Uh, on campus, you know, you go into like the library or, I don't remember what buildings they were in, it'd be like a, a basement of something like Lincoln Hall or something like that, and there'd be just a room full of terminals, and you'd sit down. But there was no like classroom with an instructor telling you to do something on, on Play-Doh, it was just that was part of your assignment, you had to do them periodically. And then of course, for them I think it was probably good because it kept a record of what you had done and um, pretty much kept them apprised of, of your progress. I think the best part of it um, is the individualized focus of it. That is, if you make a mistake, it just gives you another question just like it. It depends on the assignment. You know, if you're taking a quiz, you make a wrong mistake. And it's completely dispassionate. It d doesn't care. It's not judgmental in any way, shape, or form. It's not forming any conclusions about you as an individual. So it lets you interact with it as much as you want.